on the 21st day of the month of September, in an early year of a decade not too long before our own, the human race suddenly encountered a deadly threat to its very existence. And this terrifying enemy surfaced, as such enemies often do, in the seemingly most innocent and unlikely of places. Skid Row. The old flower shop was down in the dough. Seymour's man found a magical plant while looking for Audrey to ask for her hand. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. Total eclipse of the sun. Whoa! Look at that eclipse! Whoa! Look at that plant! I'm gonna buy it! It's free! For me? More free! For me! She's in a state of fear. I can't explain, I must refrain. So I'll just show you. Look in here. Oh, Audrey! Ah! You're a worthless trash woman! Get the pliers! No, not the pliers! I got the pliers. That won't be necessary. I'm such a good boyfriend, don't you think? Now Seymour's boss was very mad because the plant was very bad. They didn't know how to make it grow. If this is taller, his boss would be glad. Why won't this plant grow, Seymour? It's even shorter than you. I'll get it to grow, I promise. You better or you're fired. Oh, why won't you grow? Ow, what the Feed me Seymour. Feed me all night long. That's right, boy. This guy needed the money and the dentist to die. As you can see, the plant was quite mean. It would only devour human beings. Why he needed the money, it's really quite funny. So Audrey is honey, can go somewhere that's green. Hey, what's the matter? It's the dentist, he's missing. Well, that's not so bad. I guess not, I'm just worried, that's all. Wash off your mascara. Here, take my Kleenex. Wipe that lipstick away. Show me your face. Clean as the morning. I know things were bad, but now they're all bad. Nobody ever treated me kindly. Daddy left early. Mama was poor. I beat a man and I'd follow him blindly. He'd snap his fingers, me, I'd say shock. Suddenly, Seymour is standing beside me. He don't give me orders. He don't condescend. Suddenly, Seymour. 
Audrey was fine with a good dude, but too bad. Audrey too needed some food. Audrey. Uh, Audrey! Audrey too! Let go of Audrey more! I need food, Seymour! Heads up! Oh no! This is the end of our story. I hope that it wasn't too gory. There were a couple of deaths and some chopped off heads, but hey, at least it's not boring. The two lovers built a home far, far away from Skid Row. The dentist, however, was left very severed and was lonely forever. I've got to go.